Can you solve this? Hi, welcome to Math in Minutes. Stay with me as I guide you through easy step-by-step -step solutions for problems like these. Let's make math simple, fast, and fun. Let's go. So what we will do here is we try applying the laws of logarithms. So log both sides. Log of 3 raised to x plus 4 is equal to logarithm of 5 raised to x plus 3. So what happens is we bring down the exponents to the front. So that becomes x plus 4 logarithm of 3 is equal to x plus 3 logarithm of 5. And then what's next is we distribute the logarithm to the terms in front. So this gives us x logarithm of 3 plus 4 logarithm of 3 is equal to x logarithm of 5 plus 3 logarithm of 5. And then since what we're solving for is the value of x, we will combine those terms with x on the left side. So that's x logarithm of 3 minus x logarithm of 5 is 3 logarithm of 5 minus 4 logarithm of 3. And then we try factoring out the x giving us x quantity logarithm of 3 minus logarithm of 5. And then here it's simply 3 logarithm of 5 minus 4 logarithm of 3. So, divide everything by log 3 minus log 5. Logarithm of 5 minus 4. Logarithm of 3. All over logarithm of 3 minus logarithm of 5. And then, this is the answer. If you would like to rewrite this, this could be rewritten as logarithm of 125 over 3 to the 4, so that's 81, divided by logarithm of 3 over 5, or logarithm of 125 over 81, base 3 fifths. But of course, this one, the first one, would be the easiest answer. I hope you were able to follow my solution. Thank you very much.